you hear about that fucking object that's hurtling towards Earth? The odds of this thing being in the traje trajectory that it is, entering into our solar system in a direct path with Earth, the odds are extremely low. The official story about the interstellar object 3 I Atlas has just been shattered. While most astronomers were calling it a simple comet, one man, Avi Loeb, insisted it was something more. It was a million times uh, more massive than the previous uh, objects from outside the solar system, and that was uh, puzzling. It also came in the same plane as the planets around the sun. Now a bombshell confirmation changes everything. The object is firing a propulsion jet thousands of miles long directly at the sun. This is not how comets work. This is how a machine works. To put it mildly, this mind-bending discovery, which NASA has been forced to acknowledge, suggests that 3i Atlas isn't just passing by. It has a destination. Revealing the Cosmic Contradiction. The bombshell dropped in early October of 2025. New images from the two-meter twin telescope in the Canary Islands confirmed what the Hubble Space Telescope had hinted at months earlier in July. There, in stunning clarity, was the interstellar visitor 3I Atlas. And coming from its nucleus was a faint, narrow jet of material stretching over 3,700 miles into space. What many overlooked at first glance was its direction. The jet was aimed almost perfectly towards the sun. You see, for anyone with a basic understanding of astronomy, this is completely backward. Every comet ever observed behaves according to a simple principle. The sun's energy and radiation, known as the solar wind, pushes gas and dust away from the comet's nucleus. This is what creates the beautiful, iconic tail we see stretching for millions of miles away from the sun. It's like standing in a strong wind. Your hair will always blow in the direction the wind is moving. Comets are no different. They are essentially dirty snowballs that begin to melt and vaporize as they get closer to the sun's heat. The resulting cloud of gas and dust is then blasted away, forming a tail that acts like a giant cosmic windsock, always pointing away from our star. But not all things are what they seem with 3 I Atlas. This object is actively ejecting a stream of material into the solar wind. To put it mildly, this is like a fireplace where the smoke blows back down the chimney or a speedboat creating a wake in front of itself. It defies the fundamental forces at play in our solar system. The official explanation from mainstream comet experts was initially one of stunned silence, followed by attempts to explain it away as a trick of perspective or an unusual type of dust particle. They celebrated that 3i Atlas was behaving like a comet, all while ignoring the colossal, physics-defying elephant in the room. Avi Loeb himself compared it to seeing a photo of an animal your family calls a cat, but the image clearly shows a tail growing out of its forehead. The confirmation of this anti-tail has now reportedly forced a quiet admission from insiders at NASA and other space agencies. The standard comet model does not fit. The object is demonstrating what appears to be sustained, directed propulsion against the sun's pressure. This isn't just a random outgassing event. It's a persistent feature observed now by two different powerful telescopes over a period of months. The implications are staggering. If this isn't a natural phenomenon, then what is it? The existence of this jet opens the door to the very ideas that got Avi Loeb labeled a maverick. That 3i Atlas is not a rock, but an artifact an engineered object. And if that's true, then this sunward jet isn't a tail at all. It's the exhaust from an engine. But this impossible jet was just the tip of the iceberg, exposing the scientific dogma. To understand why this sunward jet is such a monumental discovery, one has to understand the scientific battle that has been raging for years, with Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb at its center. This isn't Loeb's first rodeo with a strange interstellar object. Back in 2017, the world was captivated by Oumuamua, the very first visitor from another star system ever detected. It was bizarre. It was shaped like a cigar or a flat pancake. It was tumbling in a strange way, and most importantly, it accelerated away from the sun without any visible tail. Mainstream science scrambled for an explanation. Maybe it was a nitrogen iceberg or a hydrogen iceberg or some new kind of comet they had never seen before. But Loeb offered a simpler yet far more explosive theory. Oumuamua was a piece of alien technology, perhaps a light sail designed to be pushed by starlight. 
For this, he was widely criticized by his peers. The scientific community, by and large, is deeply conservative. They operate on the principle that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and they prefer to exhaust every possible natural explanation, no matter how convoluted, before even whispering the word alien. Loeb was accused of sensationalism, of jumping to conclusions. Yet he held his ground, arguing that it's more arrogant to assume we are the only intelligent life in the universe than it is to consider the evidence with an open mind. He founded the Galileo Project, an initiative dedicated to systematically searching for evidence of extraterrestrial technology. When 3i Atlas was discovered, the scientific community was determined not to make the same mistake. They immediately labeled it an interstellar comet, a bigger and better version of the interstellar comet Borisov that had been seen a few years prior. They predicted it would be rich with water ice and would behave exactly as a comet should. Then the weirdness started. The first images came in and the object was far stranger than anyone expected. And through it all, Loeb was the one asking the uncomfortable questions, connecting the dots that others seemed determined to ignore. While comet experts were cheering that 3i Atlas was outgassing like a comet, Loeb and his colleague Eric Keto were the ones pointing out that the tail was on the wrong side. They published a paper highlighting the geometry of the sunward jet, showing it was a narrow, focused stream, not a diffuse cloud. They were largely ignored until now. The latest undeniable images of this anti-tail have proven that Loeb wasn't just seeing things. He was seeing what was really there, unburdened by the dogma that it must be a comet. The jet wasn't the only thing strange about 3i Atlas, unraveling the object's bizarre characteristics. The sunward propulsion jet is the smoking gun, but the thing nobody tells you is that it's just one piece of a much larger, more baffling puzzle. Avi Loeb has laid out a list of anomalies for 3i Atlas, and when you see them all together, the comet explanation starts to look less like science and more like wishful thinking. Many people are crazy about these details, and for good reason. First, there's its sheer size and speed. This object is estimated to be a million times more massive than Oumuamua and a thousand times more massive than the other interstellar comet, Borisov. It's also moving much faster than both. Why is the biggest and fastest visitor the one that's also behaving the most strangely? Second, its trajectory is suspiciously convenient. The planets in our solar system all orbit the sun on a relatively flat plane called the ecliptic. Objects coming from deep space can arrive from any angle top, bottom, or side. Yet 3i Atlas is traveling on a path that is aligned with the ecliptic plane to within five degrees. It's like throwing a dart at a spinning globe and having it land perfectly on the equator. Third, its timing seems almost fine-tuned. The object's path is bringing it for remarkably close flybys of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter passing within tens of millions of miles of each. You see, this trajectory makes it a perfect candidate for a reconnaissance mission a flyby probe designed to gather data on multiple planets in a single pass. Fourth, its chemical makeup is just plain weird. When astronomers analyzed the gas coming off the object, they found nickel, but no iron. In nature, nickel and iron are almost always found together. The one place you find them separated is in industrially produced nickel alloys here on Earth. Furthermore, the ratio of nickel to cyanide was orders of magnitude larger than in any known comet. And the biggest shocker, it contained only 4% water, a tiny fraction of what comet experts had predicted for this supposed giant ball of ice. Fifth, the way it reflects light is unprecedented. It shows an extreme negative polarization, a quality never before seen in any comet from our own solar system or from interstellar space. This suggests its surface is made of a very unusual material. And finally, perhaps the most mind-bending coincidence of all, its origin. When astronomers traced its path backward, they found it came from a direction in the sky that is coincident within nine degrees with the location of the famous WOW signal from 1977, the most compelling candidate for an alien radio transmission ever detected. But what could possibly be powering this impossible propulsion? An explanation that defies nature. So if 3i Atlas isn't a comet, then what exactly are we looking at? And more importantly, what is that sunward jet that seems to defy every rule of physics we know? 
The answer, if we're brave enough to face it, requires a total mental reset. We have to stop seeing this as a rock tumbling through space and start seeing it for what it might truly be, an active machine executing precise, deliberate movements. That jet isn't a tail being pushed by solar radiation. It's an engine pushing against the sun, fighting for control as if it has a destination in mind. Behind closed doors at NASA, the conversation has already shifted. What started as quiet curiosity has now turned into cautious panic. The data doesn't fit any natural explanation. The patterns are too clean, too controlled. Avi Loeb, the astrophysicist long mocked for saying that Oumuamua was artificial, has just been vindicated. So what kind of engine could do this? One leading theory is that 3i Atlas is powered by a hyper-advanced form of solar sailing, but not like the paper-thin light sails humans imagine. Imagine something that doesn't just reflect light, but manipulates it. The jet could be part of a dynamic sail system that uses electromagnetic fields to bend and shape photon pressure, letting it steer with precision down to the meter. Some physicists even speculate it's using a photon plasma drive, a kind of hybrid between a sail and a thruster adjusting its own reflectivity to shift course. But others think it's doing something much stranger. Maybe that sunward jet isn't propulsion, it's intake. What if the object is feeding? Some propose it's operating a magnetic scoop, drawing in charged particles from the solar wind to collect energy or raw material. The chemical oddities, cyanide, nickel without iron, a strangely metallic composition, could be waste products left over from whatever it's refining inside. The object might be filtering the solar wind, separating useful elements like protons and discarding the rest. In that sense, it's not just passing by the sun, it's harvesting it. Others have gone even further, suggesting that 3i Atlas might not be a probe at all, but a seed part of a vast galactic network of self-replicating machines known as von Neumann probes. These theoretical devices are designed to travel between stars, replicate using local material, and spread exponentially, seeding the galaxy with automated intelligence. If that's what 3i Atlas is, then the faint jet could be a sign that it's activating, perhaps beginning the process of replication. The low water content suddenly makes sense. Water would be useless to a machine. Nickel, however, is not. Then there's the trajectory. It isn't random. It entered the solar system on a path that took it dangerously close to the sun, but not close enough to burn up, almost like a gravitational slingshot maneuver used by spacecraft to gain velocity. After that, it adjusted its course slightly, as if testing its own navigation systems. And now it's heading toward the L2 Lagrange point, the same gravitational sweet spot where we park our most advanced observatories. Coincidence? Or is it deliberately seeking a place of equilibrium, a quiet zone where it can observe or transmit? Some fringe physicists have proposed an even more chilling possibility that 3i Atlas isn't moving under its own power at all, but is being controlled remotely. They point to subtle fluctuations in the jet that resemble signal pulses, too regular to be random outgassing. If true, it might mean the probe is still in communication with its creators. And given the light speed delay, that would imply an origin no more than a few dozen light years away. A local civilization, watching, Others suggest something grander, that this object is ancient, a relic left behind millions of years ago, only recently reactivated as our technology began to bloom. Maybe it isn't here for us, but it's awake because of us. Our constant radar pings, radio chatter, and deep space transmissions might have triggered a dormant system buried within it, like a security camera flickering back to life when it detects motion. Then there's the terrifying thought that 3i Atlas might not be mechanical at all, but biomechanical, a fusion of technology and organic intelligence. Some of its observed spectral features resemble compounds used in extremophile bacteria, microbes that survive in radiation-heavy environments. Could this be a living probe? A kind of interstellar coral capable of self-repair and adaptation? If so, then its jet could be a biological process venting heat or waste as it metabolizes sunlight. A smaller faction of researchers believe something even stranger, that 3i Atlas could be a dimensional probe, a machine designed to transition between space-time layers. 
They point to the peculiar acceleration profile that doesn't match any known force. It's as if it occasionally loses mass, briefly slipping into another state before reappearing. One physicist described it as watching an object remember that it doesn't have to obey gravity. Is 3I Atlas a controlled probe on a mission through our solar system? The evidence is mounting. Like this video and subscribe for more updates as this incredible story unfolds.